So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cameron. Uh, today I want to go over a few things. I'm building boxes right now uh, to uh, to expand the apiary come uh, the spring. Uh, first thing I want to go over is uh, if you guys are new to this channel, I am a second year beekeeper. This is the end of my second year, and I have learned so much this year. Uh, about the bees uh, and about myself and the bees and one of the ways that I've uh, learned this uh, year is through subscribers uh, leaving comments when I've made mistakes and, and rectifying them for me telling me how to go through that process without making that mistake and I've learned that every beekeeper has an opinion I learned that very early and some of them are really good and some of them are just their opinion okay i'm here to learn I, I, even some of the negative information that was uh, brought my way via the comments i uh, digested and uh, took it uh, with objective criticism uh, there's a couple of people that i want to thank especially which uh, took it on to uh, mentor me online by watching the videos uh, and then let, in the comment section let me know exactly what I was doing wrong and how I was doing it wrong so that's Tony at uh, at Phil Tony on YouTube check him out super nice guy he's, uh, he's had a tough year but still found the time to uh, mentor uh, a, a newbie beekeeper online so I want to thank him very much also uh, uh, Mason Alan Mason uh, Alan Mason on YouTube he also took the time to leave me some great feedback um, like I said right at the beginning of starting this uh, channel I started the channel to uh, learn and one of the ways how I learn is through you guys um, and I want to thank uh, all the subscribers uh, for all your feedback all your comments uh, all your smiles even when I was doing things like an idiot I thank you for smiling and not uh, cursing me out um, we, uh, based on our content that we provide, I, I was looking at, at figures of, of what I would like to achieve uh, in this year uh, with regards to subscriptions and, and views and that sort of thing. My goal was 500 views and uh, 50,000 uh, hours of view. Uh, sorry, 50,000 views on the channel. We made of the 500 that I wanted to get we actually got 458 subscribers so I want to thank every single one of you for that thank you and we made we made 48,000 views uh, this season um, so that's great I mean I, 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 I like making the videos for two reasons the main reason is when I've been in the bee yard for an hour and a half and seven days later I have no clue what I did in there I can just watch the video back and see exactly what I did and when you guys have left comments saying oh you did that wrong I've been able to go back and see exactly how I did it wrong and when I did it wrong so that's uh, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody for that it's uh, sometimes it can be tough putting yourself out there online when you when you're learning and, and some some people can be pretty you know <laughs> It can be pretty pretty harsh but hey I've got big shoulders I can take it so the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, for all those beekeepers out there the new beekeepers and the soon-to-be new beekeepers around the Atlanta area um, you don't have to buy a kit online anymore uh, you don't have to assemble that kit anymore um, because what I've started doing is with the help of a local trading post which is uh, Looney's trading post which is uh, 4452 Ostel Powder Springs Road in Powder Springs Georgia I've started now selling uh, beekeeping equipment uh, at the trading post and it involves complete 
completely assembled, ready to go beehives. So they've been completely assembled. They've been uh, two layers of uh, stain on the outside. All the frames are complete and heavily, very heavily waxed. You get top, bottom, everything. You get a, a to-go beehive ready to put bees directly in. So if you're thinking about uh, starting to become a beekeeper and you want to simplify uh, things at the beginning, just drop in uh, to uh, Looney's tra Trading Post and get one of our complete hives and it will just save you a little bit of time come the spring having to assemble it and learn how to do that and learn how to uh, wax the frames etc etc so once again that's uh, Looney's Trading Post 4425 uh, Ostel Powder Springs Road in Powder Springs Georgia and uh, like I say you can get a complete beehive ready to go also uh, we are also selling uh, smokers if you've uh, if you don't have a smoker yet we, we've also got smokers we've got smokers for adults and for children and so if you are a beekeeper and your smoke is just broke and you don't want to wait five days to get one shipped to you just drop down we've got them on the shelf um, we also have hive tools um, and a few other things we've completely sold out of honey for the season so that's awesome um, we uh, as soon as we were able to sell it through the trading post i think it lasted a couple of weeks and that's it uh, it just it was just gone completely so, so this winter what i'm doing is building a lot a, a lot more uh, hives for for honey production um and i'm also uh, building uh five frame nukes uh so that i can start uh, so i can start potentially uh selling nukes and queens uh, and the next video that I'll do, uh, I'll do a quick video on how I assemble the five frame nukes because I, I did some research online and there's a ton of different ways of doing it. So I took a snippet of everything that I saw and just did it myself. So this is the way that I did it. Uh, extremely simple. I'm fortunate that here in the south uh, I can make it out of uh, three quarter inch. I don't have to go with anything heavy. So I've been using three, uh, three quarter inch, uh, not three quarter inch, sorry. Let me get my tape measure and measure it. I'm brain, brain dying. It is a quarter of an inch, not three quarters, my bad. As so I've been using quarter of an inch uh, uh, board. And like I say, I'll make a video of, of making them. Uh, I'm not, by all means, let me tell you now, right now, I am but nowhere near a carpenter. I've never had any instruction in carpentry. Um, I'm, I'm lucky that I can see something uh, on online, a YouTube video online, and I can replicate what I see. This deck that we're stood underneath, um, this is a 16 by 24 foot deck at a top height of 9 feet, and I built it all on my own. Uh, I just watched uh, the Encyclopedia, the uh, University of YouTube watched uh watched a video on how to do this part uh and then came out and did it i initially i went and looked at all the building codes what needed to be up to code what i did because i was doing it myself i went above code on everything um but this just shows you what you can do on your own um with regards to building a whole deck or just making some five frame nukes there's uh there's no reason to, to, to go out and buy five frame nukes when you can make them yourself for 75% more cost effective. Um, I did purchase some plastic uh, nukes uh, and I wanted to see, the reason why I did that was purely to see how they, uh, how they worked or how they, uh, how they, uh, how's the, how the bees liked them in comparison to the wood ones. So I did get three plastic uh, five frame nukes uh, off, offline. And I'm going to see how they how they fare over the next season. Um, it was I think when I make the, the the five frame nukes out of wood, I think uh, top line they cost around about twelve thirteen dollars each. That's all in glue, nails, wood, uh, everything. And the cheapest plastic one I got I think that was uh, twenty twenty 
$22.99 but then you've got the, your shipping on top but anyway that's what I wanted to cover today guys uh, we, we here in North Georgia uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving and we're enjoying a beautiful 75 and sunny day uh, so I thought I'd get out and I'd make some uh, some nukes um, if you're new around here um, my wife and I Julie uh, we're in the, uh, a 10 year transition to go off grid um, we have a place over in Colorado which we will be uh, spending some time working on uh, next summer uh, we also have a place down in Florida which we're going to do some work on in uh, at, over the Christmas uh, break so there'll be videos from uh, Colorado and from Florida c upcoming uh, next year and we uh, we make videos on uh, beekeeping new beekeeping for new beekeepers uh, we also make uh, videos on that off-grid transition and also um, off grid when you're on on grid uh, situation uh, we can go off grid uh, sorry uh, the, the grid can go down tomorrow ie electric water uh, gas that sort of thing and here in the house here in Atlanta uh, we still have uh, we, collect, we collect rainwater um, and uh, we have the ability to uh, cook uh, and I, I have done some videos in the past if you want to check them out uh, just scroll down the videos you'll see them outdoor cooking etc um, but we've had a blast we uh, we did some uh, some canning in in the kitchen videos and uh, I don't know whether it was just my my lack of, of, of kitchen ability but the, the videos didn't do very well but if you do want to see canning uh, tomatoes or, or just canning anything, just drop a comment and we'll see if we can do one uh, next, next year when we start harvesting again. In the meantime, guys, I just once again want to thank all our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please just go ahead, take a second. Um, it helps us greatly create our content. Hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. If you watch a video and you think, what is that guy doing? Leave a comment, let me know. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, everybody have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you on the next video.